Hello everyone! I have a very special episode of Build Daniel Build Makes and Build Stuff this week for you. This week, I'm gonna show you guys how I made Mr. Beast, the Mr. Beast Smasher from Fortnite. Let's go! Alrighty boys, I have uh, I've done goofed. I've done a big goof. I accidentally deleted the footage. Ugh. The first part of me gluing everything together and welding it is, is gone. I will never get it back, like the respect from my parents. I used 3D gloop to glue everything together, and then I used my soldering iron to weld everything together, and then a 3D pen to fill it. Basically just like how I do everything else. So, video start. The glue has dried, it's time to sand everything down, so strap in boys. It's about 80 degrees, it's gonna get hot. Remember, nothing is sexier than wearing proper PPE. I couldn't really sand well with this, so I started gluing sandpaper onto popsicle sticks, which worked kinda well. But, there's these little like nooks and crannies in here, which aren't really working. So I started using my Dremel. I picked up some of these, come on, focus, focus, focus. Picked up some of these carbide drill bits, and these eat through plastic. If you guys are wondering why I always tell you wear protection, it's because of this. This is like an hour, like. That wouldn't be fun to breathe in, would it? I've gone ahead, I've sanded all this down. Whew. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the old magical glazing and spot putty. This is gonna be used to fill in all the seams that might have any pitting or scratches or anything like that. I can use this stuff to fill in all of those areas. All I'm doing is I'm just smoothing this area out then I'm gonna let it dry, and then we'll sand it back down. 24 hours later, the Bondo has dried, and boy, is it hot today. You know what we're gonna be doing. 120 grit, safety. Hand sanded, down to 120. I'm gonna use the magical filler primer to go ahead and coat this. It is time to sand the filler primer. This is honestly gonna be a lot of 80 grit and 120 grit. I'm, I'm gonna have to hand sand everything, so. I'm using the 80 grit first to get the high spots and everything. Then we're gonna switch to the 120. We'll knock down all those nice spots and make it real smooth. It's really hot. Finished all the 120 sanding. It's time to do 220. All right, we finished the sanding. Looking pretty sharp, pretty smooth. It's time to use flat black primer. The flat black came out really nice, it's pretty smooth, but let's go ahead and make it smoother by starting to wet sand. I'm gonna hit it with 400 grit sandpaper first. Hi, I'm gonna go to 600 grit now. The wet sanding went great. Now I gotta base coat this so we can start painting. We already used flat black primer as a base coat on this before wet sanding, so I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on top of it. Oh boy, oh boy. Since the black paint is dry, we can start taping this bad boy off. So I need to tape the areas off that are staying black. Everything that's taped will stay black. When we put the pink on here, we'll tape the pink off, then we'll do the blue on top. Funny enough, it is, uh, it's called Beast. And there we go. That is the first coat of pink. I'll probably do another, but I'm gonna let this dry. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tape off the pink now. I finished the taping of the lightning bolt. The blue that I'm using is Montana Black, and it is drops. I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat on here. I did two coats of blue on here. I'm gonna tape the entire blue parts off so I can paint the bezel silver. I also need to paint these little nubs silver as well, so I have to tape all of this off. I'm 
I'm gonna use some of the Duplicolor Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. It's all dry. I went ahead and I put some 2K clear coat on here. Uh, I did it by this, using the 2K and my HVLP gun, and then I did three coats on this, and I let it dry for two days, and it is stunning. I'm very happy with it. Look at that sheen. Look at that crisp, beautiful gloss, boys. I really do want to thank Black Gorilla Armory for modeling this. I had a blast making this, and this is one of the cleanest props I've ever made, and I'm extremely happy with this. I, I don't think I've ever played Fortnite, but this is a really cool prop, and I'm really glad I got to make it. Uh, Mr. Beast, if you would like this, DM me. We can work something out. Just like always, if you guys want to see something made, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Other than that, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks so much.